Hello everybody and welcome back to Survival Challenge. So we are going to be getting straight into the selling of planks today. We have the trailer here already. We also have many planks and the forklift. So, well, there's actually way more than what we see here. In fact, it's out of space. That's how many there are waiting to spawn. So that's going to be a bit of a mega job. Um, let's just get this wheel loader moved out of the way initially. And of course this field, as you can see, is looking pretty terrible. It does need to be all cultivated and actually just drilled. No, we, we do have a direct drill, so we can just direct drill the whole lot, including the field expansion. So it's gonna be all of this area, it's gonna be so good. I don't know if we have anything to actually harvest today. No, we don't. So yeah, the combine is not gonna be doing much. I'll just put the tractor unit onto this trailer. We can back it up and then we can load it. There we go, right, so that's going to make it easier to load. Not transporting things so far. Uh, it would actually be good to also concrete this area. Right, loading all these pallets on grass isn't ideal, and it would make the place look neater. It isn't too expensive to concrete it, so I'm quite happy to do that. Anyway, uh, yeah, as I said, loads and loads to do. The trick is, if you know you've got loads to spawn, lift one up, let it spawn, and lower it down and then it just gives it a perfectly aligned finish okay looks like it's gonna be a wild spawn there we go yeah you don't have to do all that shunting and I can do it a third time of course you have to wait but yeah it does uh, in the end I think speed things up certainly makes it easier even if it's not faster there we go okay right I will see you when it's loaded Okay, so there we go, we've got the flowers on as well. That's actually two days worth of flowers, that is significant. Wow, that is good. So this should be a mega load of money. I really don't know how much this is gonna be, but probably 150,000 pounds worth. Obviously it's gonna be a lot. Ah, oh, no, one's on each side. 130. Yeah, they don't sell if they're on their side. Ah, still got straps on it. Oh no, of course, it's it's too heavy. Well, luckily we do have a forklift over here. There it is. I have to persuade it across. If that's my IBC, I'll put that on the trailer. Is it my IBC? Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, so we can pop this on and knock the other one off, and then uh, it will be all good. There we go. Actually, I probably would have been better on the other side. Maybe I can sort of persuade it back this way. It just needs to be level. Oh, the times don't quite reach. So close. Brilliant. So we almost hit 500,000 in total, but not quite. Still, that is so good. I've just spent so much money as well on the combine, and we're back at 500 almost. So that really is astoundingly good. Oh no, that's tight. That's very tight. So yeah, next up is the drilling. Actually, it would be wise to check and see if we have enough seed. Uh, we probably should take some more back. We have fertilizer, but this drill doesn't do fertilizer. Right, so there is a small seed bag just here. I think there might be one lurking just at the edge of the field over there. 
and it's already got 73% in it, so I think we do have enough. But as we're here, we might as well put a couple more on, just because it makes sense. So we will do. That should be fine. Yeah, it's a bag over there. I have no idea what it is. Something. <laughs> uh, hopefully it is seed, but... Well, actually... If it's fertilizer, that is better in a way, because it's worth more. But we don't need to really uh, refill at all at this stage. Well, I suppose if I plant this behind the drill, we can refill, but we don't need to. I'm probably out of range too, but it's worth a, a try. Actually, I think it might have opened up. It did. Very good. So what are we putting in? What should we put into this big, big field? We're actually running on diesel too, uh, although we might have enough for this field. This is going to take a long time. Maybe I should split it into two. But yeah, it needs to be done today. Maybe a worker can do some of it. Right, so it's May. I think really the best thing is to put in anything which is best priced in sort of December, January time. So that would be sorghum, Barley, wheat, that sort of stuff. I think probably barley. Or maybe sorghum. <laughs> I know that's what was in it before. We don't really want to repeat the same crop. Um, yeah, maybe barley. We'll go with barley. Currently set to soybeans. There is barley. Lovely. Whoops. Does help if you switch it on. Okay. We are drilling, and we're going to go out of this original field boundary, we're going to go into the new area. There is still a chance that I will find some stumps, if we do, it's very simple, we'll just get the stump grinder and get rid of them. And eventually we will have a huge field of barley here. It will be good, but it will take time. I think we're doing top speed, I think regardless of whatever tractor we have this on, 11 is the fastest it could ever do. So we've just got to sit back and relax really. Oh, it makes it hard to see where we've been with this texture. <laughs> well, uh, I'm sure it will become more apparent as we progress across the field. I don't know if the other tractor is parked in the field. Again, if it is, we can just move it. It's fine. Uh, this tractor is struggling a bit. It could do with the service, although we do have the money now to upgrade. Should we upgrade? That would be fun. Then we don't have to refuel it. <laughs> Why spend £200 on some diesel when we can spend 500000 on a new tractor? That would be so good. Um, yeah, so it would be large tractors, quad tracks, something like that. Oh, wow, we'd be doing so well. Oh, look at these. I think I'm going to get to the corner, the far corner, and I may well replace this tractor. It does feel like it needs a bit of a, an upgrade on this big drill. Obviously downhill it's going to be absolutely no problem at all. Uh, this corner is a little bit awkward. We can't really do it neatly until we drill the other piece of this field. One day it will be all one field, but that field is not quite ready. Did I drill that? No, did I? No, that was the uh, path, wasn't it? I can't remember. Anyway, yes, let's replace the tractor. Bit unexpected, but I think we will do. There we go. Oh, oh no. Destroyed the corner. And we will get some money back for this. It's a big tractor after all. I will repair it, I will repaint it. Uh, oh, that's not very good. <laughs> 34,000 after expenses. Well, it's something. Yeah, so I have my eye on these. They're not actually European, but I don't think that really matters too much. I would like to have the 
Fent or the Challenger. I don't think I really want the Black Beauty one. Uh, the Challenger would look pretty amazing. 517 horsepower. We'd have to have... Well, I, I like the flotation, so obviously we can, uh, we can change, depending on which job we're doing. Now, which brand had the flotations? This one. Look at those. Wow. Uh, beacons, well, we don't need them, but yeah. <laughs> Why not? Uh, fenders, yes, we want those. N numbers, that's if we're having a fleet. No, I don't think we'll have a fleet of them. Steering handle. I'm guessing that's not the same as a steering wheel, <laughs> because <laughs> that would be uh, a requirement. It's actually referring to that steering knob that goes onto there. But no, we don't need it. Cooler. Now, these are all in-cab entertainment things that we're not actually going to benefit from. So, yeah, let's just buy it. Oh, look at that. This is going to be good. Crikey. The size of those wheels. Wow. Well, let's see how good it actually is in the field. I made it back to the field and then realised, of course, it is a US tractor. So we'd actually have to put the quick hitch on. Because it's all sort of set up for a, a towed, trailed, pin-type machine implement. Which we're not using. Yeah, we should see quick hitch. There it is. So that should, I hope, enable us to attach to this drill. Um, yeah, it should do. Good. Right, so now we can finally start properly. I'm not really going to feel the difference until we start to go uphill. The other tractor really did feel it. Uh, this one obviously is consistently doing 11, which is top speed. So let's see if it gets pulled back at all. It, well, it won't. It can't do with this power. It's extremely good. Right. This is where it starts to get a bit steeper. I think I'll probably go across the field. Not up and down it. Because that should really speed things up. But no, no hesitation whatsoever. 11 miles per hour consistently. Absolutely flying. And we have a full tank of diesel. Which is nice. So, let's get this done. I think I might be able to get it done in one time lapse. Hopefully I can. We might have to refill. Well, that is the top section done. We just have that piece over there to do. But it's absolutely amazing, this setup. If you remember back to the first episode, when I was absolutely desperate to get something in the ground, I ended up with this minute, very strange shaped field. 
because uh, we were using something which was, was it, it might have been less than a meter that we were working with. It was ridiculous. And now look what we've got in just not many episodes, really. And yet there were still people doubting me. I can't believe it. <laughs> look what we have. It's amazing. So, yes, we'll do this. And then, really, it needs to be fertilized. Uh, it needs to have herbicide as well. Uh, we will probably have to do a bit more water topping up over at the greenhouses. But it's all looking good. Of course, we have the new plot of land over there where the sheep are. Uh, it's going to be dealt with at some point. I don't know exactly what to do with it. Maybe cut the grass, put it in the pit, ferment it, and then sell it as silage. Possibly. Um, still deciding. It would probably be quite good to have other productions, though. Uh, like if we have the wall, we could have the spinnery, and then we could have the clothes factory. Clothes are worth so much money. So that might be the route we take. We could sort of turn this into the Obelu series, because we made so much money in the end, it was so good, and it was all thanks to productions. Although it did take... How many episodes did I... Did I do 200 episodes? I think I did. Wow. <laughs> that is the biggest series I've ever done. Yeah, I think it was 200. Hopefully the next Farming Simulator game gets a series as big, but it, it really does come down to the map. If the map is not up to scratch, then it will never be able to have that many episodes. It's because the Obelu map is just so good. It's so replayable. Lovely. Okay, right, uh, almost done. Um, amazingly, we haven't refilled with seed. I've just noticed we do have a few little specks which haven't been done. Not too much. There we go, that should do it. I don't know if that piece there is actually uh, doable. Nope. But this little speck of sorghum can be drilled. There we go. Okay, good. Oh, there's a bit more in the corner. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, so, yes, it is really all going to be spraying related now. Uh, the uh, Valtra is going to be the best tractor for that. I didn't see any stumps, maybe you did. I didn't see any. Yeah, it's grass which has been missed with the cultivator. These green bits. I would take everything off here. Oh, look at that, we've already got three more pallets of planks. That's amazing. Not ideal, that, but anyway. Yeah, we'll get this attached to the sprayer. Uh, it doesn't actually matter what we do first. Both need to be done, herbicide and liquid fertilizer. It is already full of herbicide, but I've just realized if I do herbicide first, will I actually see where I've been? Like, if I do fertilizer first, it will change the texture of the ground. And then herbicide might make it lighter but if I do it this way around, maybe I won't see a thing, because there's no weeds to actually kill. I think it will work, but there's no weeds to actually kill, so we won't see it. Uh, so, yes, maybe I should try and do liquid fertilizer first, which we probably won't have enough of. But we have some. Oh, there's some more over there, actually. Oops, I keep falling out. Right. Yeah, well this will definitely work. This will be visible. Yeah, so we're getting that darker texture. If I can't see anything with the herbicide, I will just wait for the weeds to grow, because they'll actually germinate overnight. We'll get some small weeds by the next episode, so uh, there's no need to rush it. But this will be quite slow. Top speed of just seven. Thankfully, we do have a fairly wide working width, but yeah, still pretty slow.
just buy another IBC of liquid fertilizer. Uh, we might be able to carry it all because we've got the boost tank on the front. We're not fully empty though, which is going to be a little bit of an issue. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> we'll try it. Hopefully, we can get this whole IBC transported. Uh, let's just see. Yeah, we will do. That's good. Great. And we'll go and finish the field. Okay, that is the field fully fertilized. And I am gonna wait until the weeds grow because then I can really see where they are. Uh, it'll be the next episode. We can just go straight into here with the sprayer, put the herbicide in and kill the weeds. So really, I think we're just waiting now for things to uh, establish a bit. We should have a field ready to harvest next time, hopefully. <laughs> that little strip there will be. Uh, let me just get that lorry because we do have water to do. I'll just finish off with the water. Make sure those greenhouses keep going because they do bring in quite a significant amount of money. Start with this one because then we can fill it up on the way around. It's probably going to leave us with about 25%. 20%. <laughs> <Um>. <laughs> Why do I try and guess? 10%. Okay. 10% of a tanker. We will put one session of water in, which is 53%. So we should finish when it's on 63%. Uh, Sixty-three. Yep. Oh wow, it did. Yeah, it always seems to do 53%. I don't know why, but it does. So let's get these two filled up. This is probably the next thing we should change. The tractor unit. Because it is pretty heavy for that tractor unit. Let's get these moved. That'll do. And this has probably filled both of the boost tanks, but we do have the internal capacity as well. So we just need to pull forward and do this one. It's automatically doing it. Good. Okay, right, so we're done yep they're all done thank you so much for watching hope you've enjoyed it and until next time see you again very soon bye for now